Writer Susan Brody worked for Michael Douglas's production company for three years back in the 1980s. In her first televised interview, she told me Douglas repeatedly harassed her. He thought he was the king of the world and that he could humiliate me without any repercussions. Michael Douglas was at the height of his career, starring in hit movies like Wall Street. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. And Fatal Attraction. When his then employee, Susan Brody, says he repeatedly used inappropriate sexual language. She says his bad behavior escalated during a work meeting at his apartment in 1989. He slid down to the floor, unbuckled his belt, and put his hand inside his trousers. And I could see what he was doing. He put, and then he began to sort of fondle himself. And I was very scared. Brody says she told several friends at the time, but was terrified to speak out. One of my friends said, you better not tell people about him. People were frightened for me. Michael, one more time. Michael. Douglas declined NBC News' request for comment, but he tells The Hollywood Reporter the accusation is an unfortunate and complete fabrication. Oh, Michael! Michael, this way, sir! Earlier this month, Douglas tried to get ahead of the story before it was published, telling Deadline, I can't believe that someone would cause someone else pain like this. Maybe she is disgruntled, her career didn't go the way she hoped, and she is holding this grudge. Also today, famed director Woody Allen is under siege. He's lying, and he's been lying for so long. Dylan Farrow, Allen's adopted daughter with Mia Farrow, speaking out to CBS in her first TV interview, maintaining that Allen molested her in 1992. He instructed me to lay down on my stomach and play with my brother's toy train that was set up. And uh, he sat behind me in the doorway. And as I played with the toy train, I was sexually assaulted. Allen has never been charged with a crime and has vehemently denied the allegation. Allen has helped propel many actresses to the A-list over the years. But now, in the era of Me Too, several stars are supporting his daughter. I believe Dylan. I would want to say that. I believe you, Dylan. Natalie Portman, Reese Witherspoon, and Jessica Chastain among them. Director Greta Gerwig, who took home Best Picture Comedy at the Golden Globes for Lady Bird, told the New York Times she regrets working with Alan in 2012. Timothy Chalamet, a Best Actor contender this year, says he's donating his paycheck for his forthcoming Alan film. Alex. But Alec Baldwin, who's worked with Alan three times, defending him this week, tweeting, the renunciation of him and his work no doubt has some purpose, but it's unfair and sad to me. Adding, is it possible to support survivors of pedophilia and sexual assault abuse and also believe that Woody Allen is innocent? I think so. A Connecticut state's attorney said in 1993 he had probable cause to prosecute Woody Allen, but he declined to file charges. Again, Allen has long denied the allegation. Michael Douglas, meantime, in his denial, said that Susan Brody never complained, but she told me last night that she complained over and over and over again and that she would have gone to police, but at the time she said she did not think what he was doing was a crime. Mm. She says, I think so now. Wow. All right, Kate Snow. Kate, thank you. Thank you, Kate. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.